Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time because it's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Don't have a theme this week, but I got some cool stuff for us to check out. And we're going to start off right here on the patio. Turbro. You remember Turbro? The patio heater. We've worked with a couple of their products. The patio heater is the most notable of those. They've sent me one I'm really excited about. You know how I like to play with fire. They sent us, a, this is a brand new to the market fire pit. This is the Turbro Pluto R19. I think we're going to like it. So let me get something to cut open that box and we'll we'll check it out. Of course, we have to wait until this evening to build a fire, but we can learn how it works right now in a pinch. The PVC pipe, the pipe cutter will work as a box opener. Works really good too. Instructions. We're going to need that. Oh, look at this. Look how cool is that? It comes with a carrying bag. Fireside. We like fire stuff. That's heavy. That, that's some, some heavy stainless steel. That weighs several pounds too. Glance at the instructions real quick. Pretty straightforward. Part F. Part D. Part B. Not quite as, it's a little different than what I was thinking it was going to be. I thought that would probably sit down a little bit deeper than what it was. That actually works really good. To, so we've got our double wall here. So the air flows in from the bottom, comes up through the bottom of D through the walls. That's where it gets superheated to ignite. I like the fact that it is, is more 
a little more portable. We'll see what it looks like tonight when we build a fire. That means we got a Segway. Not the kind you ride on. The kind we go from point A to point B in the video. We're doing a Segway. That Segway brings us to the next product. It's heavy. <laughs> so, I want to give a, a, a shout out of thanks to, to Turbro for sponsoring this edition of Friday's Finds with that cool product. We'll see how it burns. Our next video sponsor. They reached out to me. And this is, ah, this was sent to us by XPE. They make truck stuff. This little box right here weighs about 40 pounds, maybe more. And it is a drop hitch. It actually comes with anti-rattle, a couple pins. Oh. Two different size balls, two and a quarter and two. This will support a trailer weight of 15,000 pounds. Whew, it's plenty heavy. What's great about it is you don't have to carry around two separate balls in your toolbox. So we're going we're gonna to head out to the truck and finish playing with this where I have a, a little more persuasion going on i just realized something and now i feel less than intelligent this actually is this is a class five so this would fit on the receiver uh, of trudy thunder the motor home the f550 chassis it will not fit on my f150 so the difference between a four and a five is that this is much larger it's two and a half inch receiver it does include a locking pin a good barrel lock and two anti-rattle or three anti-rattle bushings so you get the two inch ball and you flip that over and you have a two and a half inch ball and set the height to wherever you need it to be xpe got you covered that's heavy duty xpe thank you so much for sponsoring this edition of friday's finds with all the products the link will be in the card above or in the description below we got one more thing to play with it's gonna be fun <laughs> it's really windy but we're gonna go open that box and see what, what's inside y'all remember when i was down at galveston island and that gust of wind poof, broke my tarp loose and then flattened my tent and made my life miserable for a bit of time yeah let's just reflect on that for a moment the toes better but it occurred to me while i was uh sitting down there on the beach surf fishing with my toe throbbing it occurred to me that maybe maybe big plastic tarps are, are not the best thing to be carrying around in my truck 
for that application. Now to keep the rain off of my gear, yeah, they're great. But as a windbreak, they're, they're not optimal. And, and I remembered that I actually already had a tarp at home that I should be carrying around. I'm going somewhere with all this. This, this is the tarp. I don't even know the name of the company that makes this tarp. Uh, this is the new one. It provides windbreak from the, the, the north wind when I'm, when I'm soaking in the hot tub. Gotta, gotta block that north wind. Ooh, it gets cold. But I have, I have a larger one of these here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna begin, and you'll notice I have one there as well. And they come in, they make them in a variety of different sizes. They make fence panels for your wrought iron fence. And that's actually for a taller wrought iron fence. They do a good, great job at blocking out the sun and the wind, and they will even shed water, but they're not waterproof. The water will just kind of run off of. Thinking with about that, you know what? What I really need is, I can use that as a shun, sunshade too. Uh, like for example, if it's raining and I'm getting in and out of a tent, I'm gonna get wet and the ground is gonna be saturated on both tents. And, and if you recall this past summer, I was camped out at Nail, Nails Creek, living in a tent for 10 days in the sun so i needed shade over the tent but didn't have it so i got to thinking you know i got this tarp i'm gonna be carrying that in the truck if i had some poles i could make a a shade for the tent so we finally we finally got to the package the tool for cutting pipe works great for cutting open boxes as well torque torque truck 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 Very nice, very nice. And we have the, that goes through the grommet. I'm six foot, I'm six foot two. That's eight feet. All right, let's go set up a tarp. <laughs> well, it's not exactly perfectly straight, but it's enough for us to get the idea. I really think I need to have another set of those uh, yeah it would just it would raise that tarp up a little higher i will be able to get that up high enough to create a shade structure over the smaller tent during the summer and uh, of course i was doing it when there's a good a good wind blowing which proves the concept that this is much easier to work with than a solid tarp in a wind situation the poles the poles are working out really good i like that i can adjust the height there are anchor points here i didn't use them i just looped it over on top of there 
but you get the idea and if you were watching last week's episode of friday's finds you'll recognize the the green worked out great for this and of course i was using the orange big orange head nails they're not quite as they don't stay in the ground quite as well see this one's pulling up there you go you can make yourself a shade structure anywhere with these poles as long as you have some rope and some stakes ropes and stakes you got sh you got shelter so we are hanging out here on the patio burning wood in the turbo fire pit we're starting to get the color change on the stainless steel this thing it burns very clean The overall depth of the burn chamber is it's not quite as deep as I'm accustomed to but that does not seem to be a detracting factor getting lots of combustion around the ring all right we'll keep burning and I'll keep you posted from the footage we burned some wood last night oh, I'm impressed with how this burns really it radiated a lot of heat but it didn't discolor the outside so now I'm gonna break it down and put it in the bag and we'll see how well it stows now that makes it really handy to empty the ash pan. Almost looks like they intend, to, intend for you to transport with it fully assembled.
So you have two options, I guess. Transport it fully assembled or transport it stowed. I'll opt for stowed. I like it. I like that one a lot. All right. Well, go back in time to yesterday when I was talking about the tent. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. In the card above and in the description below, you'll find links. The links will take you to the shopping list, the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear Recommendation Amazon page, my Amazon storefront. I want to say thank you to our two additional sponsors of this edition of Friday's Finds. And, and if you've not already, I, I'd, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you enjoy product review videos, I, that's what this show's all about, Friday's Finds. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. I'm honored. And for my patrons, I am grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?